Hello everybody, Hawko here. Welcome into the video. Today I'm gonna show you the fastest and most efficient way to re-roll an account on Honkai Star, Star Rail. Uh, it's up to you if you think that it's worth it. Uh, now at launch, MiHoYo is giving away quite a few like free wishes or free warps as they're called in this game. Yes. Like, if you're gonna roll, I'd say now is kind of the time, and also the man banner is kind of good. Me personally, I thought it was worth to re-roll. Uh, so I studied the fastest way to do this, and now I'm gonna pass it on to you. And, hey, by the end of this, I'm gonna show you that it kind of works. I have bulletproof proof that this kind of works. So, the characters I was going for was either Seely or, uh, what's her name? I want to say Brony because chat kept making fun of her name being kind of Brony. It, it, it is not Brony, it's Broyne, something like that. So, what you need to do is you need to have an email. Before you can make a, gus, uh, a guest account, uh, when you load into Genshin Impact for example, they've taken away that, so you need to actually bind your account to an email before you start doing this. So, I'd say start with your like real email. Who knows, maybe you get lucky, maybe you don't need to roll, maybe this is gonna be like your first time ever doing it. But without further ado, let me start the video. So, I just got done doing this reroll re attempt, it was my 8th reroll re attempt. You're gonna be thrown into this cutscene, you unskippable, as almost every cutscene, or as el every cutscene is. This is the biggest time sink of actually re-rolling. You can't skip the cutscenes, uh, there's a lot of dialogue you can't uh, even fast forward through. Uh, clicking usually helps you get get by the dialogue a little bit faster. You can enter your first combat. It's gonna be pretty simple, they're gonna teach you how to do a basic attack, then they're gonna teach you how to do your E ability. Boom, over in two hits. Run down this corridor. Here I decided that I don't want to do another reroll in English. I like my Japanese voices. Uh, <laughs> chat was like, hey, maybe if you try turning English back, your luck will come back. But yeah, then it really works. We went back to Japanese. In here, they will show you your ultimate ability. And this is like the fat, the thing that can save you the most time during these reruns. The reruns are tedious, or they take a lot of time. I'm, I'm around 20 to 25 minutes, depending on like how well you play, how efficient you are. And your ultimates will be like the biggest potential of shaving up some minutes. Or ha half minutes or yeah, like whatever, a little bit of time. Mm -hmm. For example, if an enemy is about to die, then it might be worth saving your ultimate to the next upcoming combat. So that you just one shot that combat almost and can just keep on. So we recently met Silver Fox, the li little girl that kind of looks like a king from Genshin. I'm gonna end up in this combat and we're gonna once again like try out the abilities. And use the special. See? Three people, full health, one special, dead. In this room we're gonna have two uh, things to examine. Like two... Yeah. One, one monitor station, one server station. Talk a little bit to the king, talk to that computer, talk to the king again, but a big mala boom. So, uh, I'm a big fan of Genshin Impact, but I, I also spent quite a bit of money on Genshin Impact. I know that these games can get expensive. That's why, in this game I decided I wanted to set myself up for a big, for like a good start. I was going for Sile or Broine. Sili, Sile, oh. whatever her name is, or he however you pronounce it. Here we just found like our main character. We get the name her, we get the pick between female or male. A big female. I, I found that her voice was less irritating than male's ones. So, I'm doing this like during launch. During the launch of Honkai Star Rail. Which means that there are some codes that you can like input to get some extra currency, which you can do more pulls in. I would those po those codes will be posted in the like description of the video, and, it, and also where you can redeem this. After we picked a gender of our character and we give it a name, then you can go to that website and actually redeem the codes. 
if you want to be as time efficient as possible, you take the opportunity when you're in an unskippable cutscene to actually go in and redeem these codes. So now we're no longer Kafka and Silver Wolf. We're instead the uh, 7th of March, I believe his name was, and uh, our main character, which I named Haku. We're significantly weaker. Uh, 8th of March doesn't have like any damage to boast of at all, but she is quite a decent uh, like shielder support. Kinda almost reminds me a little bit of uh, Diona from Genshin. Her ultimate is is okay. I'd say. And as often as you can, try to make sure that you use like your E ability on your main character. Mm -hmm. Because that hits in an AoE. Also her special yes. gives you access to like either uh, a single target attack or multi-target attack. The multi-target attack will like deal less damage if there's oh. uh, yeah, only one enemy standing. So if you have more <laughs> enemy standing, feel free to AoE them down. If you only have like one big dude left. Do the single target attack, obviously. Now we picked up our last character. They're gonna make you jump through some hoops. They're gonna make you level him up. Bada bing bada boom, we continue on to the next. And they have you initiate this fight by like doing a technique. Which gives you a little bit of an advantage. The same deal here, you just deal with these enemies. One thing, one other thing to like keep in mind is that enemies are weak to different elements and what we want to do here we're, we're gunning for speed we want to kill things as efficiently as possible like just take a fraction of a second to like realize that all right the new Zhongli looking guy he does wind damage like attack him or use him to attack yes. things that are weak against wind i say with main character she has is it ice I think it's ice. She, she has some element. But little bow using healer, she's definitely ice. And here they have you equip uh, one of the cards that kind of serves as your weapon. And this is like the final part before you actually uh, are, are done with your reroll. You beat this horse dude, which is, is a little bit tanky. You're you're not in any way, shape, or form in danger of dying to him. Yes. He just takes a little bit of a beating. Remember that he is weak to wind. So when it's Zhongli's turn, I don't remember his real name. When it's Spear user's turn to attack, make sure that you use the E ability because that is the one that will make the most amount of damage. And as soon as you can, use your specials by everybody. Also a little trick, um, your special, you can activate it whenever, it doesn't have to be your turn. So a very efficient way to play is, um, if your character has a special, like, just gets your, their special active. Because they just got hit or whatever. Use up their, like, normal turn, use an E ability or just a basic attack ability and immediately press ultimate. That will give you another... Uh, like another turn because ultimate cuts in line because ultimate doesn't play by the rules like our main character says rules are meant to be broken just like the ultimates they are kind of broken so now you we're gonna get to do one mm, like predetermined wish we're gonna get asta and now yes. you go you speak to this little one this is actually one of the things i've seen other guides leave out if you talk to this person, you click, you take the bottom option. Oh. And then you run up to this one. You actually unlock your event log that will gain you access to one more summon ticket on the event banner. And now it's time to like input the codes that we have. Once again, posted down, down below in the description. Alright, all right. now we're all set up, we've inputted all of the codes. We go, we press escape, or options if you're using controller, you go into your mail mailbox, top right corner, open up here, we click claim all. You're gonna get 400 stellar jades, 
You're gonna get a four star character and a lot of a lot of other goodies. You then click on the store. Oh, I went a little bit too fast. You then click on the store, like mm -hmm. just to the left of me. I'm blocking it a little bit. I'm sorry about that. Click on the store, which is basically like Paimon's bargain. You go down to Stella Trade. You change in your 500 crystals you should have, or free of the event banners. Oh. However, the this is depending on what you are going for. Me personally, I went for the event banners. I wanted Sealy. If you feel like you want to max out the beginner summon, you can do that instead. Then instead of buying Star Rail Special Pass, you buy the Star Rail Regular Pass. Like the silver one. I figured I'd rather gun for Seelie because she's an event wish. If, it, if this is anything like Genshin, we are gonna get the standard characters. Like, anyway. As collateral collection. So, redeem three of these. We hop up to Ember's Exchange. No, wait, actually. I'm jumping a little bit ahead in time. You just exchange this free special right now. Then you go and click on the warp, which is summon. And here is the beginner summon. We have enough to do two summons of this because we have 20 tickets because it's the pre registration reward we got from Mihoyo. We clip, click warp 10 and we pray to God. This train will go, this train will go. And this little rabbit will stand, stay here. The door behind him determines what kind of rarity you get. Blue, three star, uh, purple, four star. If it would shine golden, bada bing bada boom, you got yourself a five star. We got a little bit unlucky, so four star it is. <laughs> we got Arlan, which is a little kid we met earlier. We click, we click again. We use up our last. And once again, it is a four star. Here I'm start, I start to feel a little bit like, ah, beat down. It's okay, we used up 16 of what we had. Of our 20 tickets, and now we have four left. I do four more summons on like the standard banner. Once again, nothing. So here we have Celie's banner. This is the event banner. This is the character I most like I really really want. I really really want. Best case scenario, I get her. So we could buy three tickets off the bat. We got one from the event track. Jump out of here. Click back on the store. Click down to Stellar Trade. Oh. No, sorry, nothing. Click back to <laughs> click to Ember Exchange. <laughs> because when we pulled 20 pulls on the beginner's banner, we got some uh, Ember. And every month, it seems, uh, you get some of these at a discounted price. So we can buy five, four of these for 360. But we still have some summoning to do with them. So maybe we can like top ourselves up so we get, we get one more. It, it's depending on what we get. We go back to warp. We go to see this banner. Since I can't do a multiple, I fast forward here a little bit. Or I don't fast forward, but I skip the animation for like every summon. Yes. So first one, nothing. Actually, let me let me just do a little. Let's go normal speed instead of sped up. We click. Oh, a four star sample, maybe good. Fast forward. Oh, it's a five star. Oh, it's a silly. I am not making it like I'm not making this up. <laughs> it's a goddamn silly. Oh. And I have been sat there for like six hours, just like re-rolling, re-rolling, re-rolling. Then I said, all right, I'll stop streaming and I'll do a, a tutorial on YouTube on how to do this. So I can help other people along as well. But yeah, I was really freaking happy. Like finally, finally the, we reached the light at the end of the tunnel. We can finally be happy. This method will get you, will net you around 20 tickets for... Uh, the normal summon, the beginner summon, you should use them on the beginner summon instead of the uh, oh. normal summons because you get a discounted price for every multi. <laughs> and I used my crystal to, to gain uh, or to buy the event tickets to get Sealy. 
which we managed to get. So I am very pleased about mm -hmm. that. At this point, when you used up yes. your last ticket, you can't trade trade in your resources for any additional tickets of any kind. Uh, then it is time to decide. Are you happy with what you got, or can you be asked to do another one? Like to reroll and do this again. Like I said, it took me about 8 tries. I got one 5 star previous to this on my very first account. It wasn't a very good 5 star. Uh, I wasn't super psyched about him. So I kept on going. And this was the second 5 star I ever got. And it was Sealy and it's the one I wanted. And here I see that, oh, we have, we have enough to make one final purchase. Of like one ticket each. So I go in there and buy, I buy this. And since I've already got the Sealy, I, I'm, I'm very happy. I know I'm keeping this account. This is now gonna be my account. This is the one I'm gonna be playing on. This is the account I will be playing if you tune into me on Twitch. For example. Uh, but yeah, if you're not happy, then you press the little power button down here. You click log out. Uh, you log in with another email. If you don't have another email, you make uh, you make another email before because you you need a fresh new email in order to do this. And, and then rinse, repeat until you actually get what you want. So that is basically it. Um, it's a simple process, although it's a bit slow since you can't skip stuff. Um, I recommend look up a tier list mm -hmm. or. Uh, or you just find a character that appeals to you in design, in playstyle, or or whatever. Or you just play the game, hope for the best. It's a gacha game, so the characters we do get now will probably be kind of outdated in a certain amount of time. Maybe don't rack your head too much, but... I'm guessing since you're watching this video, you might re really want to reroll. I really wanted to. It took me six hours, but as you could see, about half a, half an hour ago, I got really happy, but I f because I finally made it. And if I had been unlucky, I would have put in real money, and she would have been 180 summons in. Like who knows? So. <laughs> In some ways, I might have just earned myself. Well, what is the current rate? Like three hundred dollars, three hundred fifty dollars. God damn I mean, it! Don't spend money on this game. I'd rather re-roll like this. Anyways, I really hope that I that I helped you out. Best of luck in your summons. And if you wanna catch me, catch me live, probably playing Honkai Star Rail, please tune into my Twitch, and I'd be happy to ask. <laughs> happy to answer any questions you might have but on off chance then i never see you again godspeed and it's been a true pleasure keep on rocking <laughs>